here is a, uh, a maple tree that um, is going to have to be taken down in a couple of months. Excuse me, about a month or so. And, uh, it's in Irvington, New York. And uh, I've known, I've had this tree in my life since my childhood, so I might as well record it for posterity on YouTube. And uh, you can see like um, like dead branches up here. This spring they had leaves there, but then they withered and died. And every time we get like snow on Halloween, branches fall off this thing and like destroy a part of the power line system. So as you see, it's marked for death there. Right. The belt, the wampum belt of death. So, uh, here's a glorious tree and uh, a memory documented for all time. And I'm going to do like a little pan about this utopia where I live. There's unharvested tomatoes. Don't tell Mary, I'm going to harvest one. I hope that's okay. So we have the bird houses and um, a burgeoning uh, sunflower right here. There's a, a bird house and a, a bird feeder. And way up there, that's a, uh, a pear tree. And sometimes the crows freak out harvesting up there. It's a garden and uh, dog, dogwood with uh, birdhouses in it. Another sunflower. And, uh, Unripened tomatoes, ready for harvest at some point. Black eye Susans, majestic pine tree. <laughs> More tomatoes. Back to the eternal maple tree that's about to go. That has been a nature production. Hope you enjoyed it. Oh, and incidentally, see that wrinkle in the fence right there? A limb had come down and destroyed the picnic table and the Weber grill and nearly killed my brother Braden. So, I guess it's time to uh, say goodbye to a dying tree. So you get a load of that, see that? You can imagine the weight that came down on that. You nearly smacked Braden down.